Ladies and gentlemen, we got a Ford uh, Falcon Fairmont, whatever you want to call it. This is a 2003 BA. This is a V8, but doesn't matter. It should work the same on AU, BA, BF, uh, all that models. So the problem with this car is um, whenever you lock the doors with the remote or use the key or there's a button in the dash, whenever you lock the car it unlocks itself after like 10 15 20 seconds sometimes it takes up to like 30 seconds or to a minute sometimes it's pretty quick like five six seconds it's not like very very instant but it takes like five seconds or something like that and it unlocks itself so that was the problem with the car now uh, the very common issue with this ford is whenever you lock the door if the door unlocks instantly, that means few things can go wrong there. Usually the common problem is one of your door is not locked. So the door actuator is not locking one of the doors or the, the door is not fully closed. As in, if you leave the door open like, uh, like so, I'll just give you an example. I'll leave the door open, right? So now you come here and show this uh, lock on the door here so i'm going to use the remote and lock that door now it unlocks it unlocks automatically and sometimes you can hear on some cars the horn beeping like that as well i'll try it again lock unlocks Im immediately because this door is intentionally um, left open right but even if the door is closed in if it does that instantly that means one of your door is not locking okay so um most of the time the problem is the actuator they have the little motor little plastic gears and spring you can buy them separate on the internet very cheap and it's pretty easy to do there's a lot of videos on the internet showing how to do it how to change out motors and gears usually the the plastic gears they break or the motor go bad right so it's all um pretty simple uh just when the motor uh turns it turns the gears plastic gears and then it pulls the lever okay and then it pulls the lock as in it locks the actuator the mechanism uh, so you can't open the door so to quickly verify which door is causing that it's very simple what you do is you close the door and then start unlocking opening doors one at a time until you find the door that one unlocks that the one that doesn't lock okay but you have to be very quick and you may have to do it multiple times so keep your let's say if this is a suspect door keep your hand on the on the um uh, door handle ready to open and lock the door and quickly open the door and you'll see which door you and because like i said if it's, it's very instant when they are uh, uh, when they find that one of the door is not locked very instant they unlock itself quickly so you have to be very quick or you have to do it multiple times uh, at every doors to verify which which one is at fault then you can go in there and and, and figure out what's happening uh, with them now the way they work is I'll just show you here if you want to bring it here so you got a little connector here right if you can sort of get that out so there's a little connector here that goes to the door lock actuator right here there's multiple wires there it's very basic if you know a little bit of electrical uh, if you have a little bit of electrical knowledge very easy to identify which wire is for what right i'm not gonna go into detail because because of the christmas uh we are very busy here so i couldn't make the full video explaining everything but i'll just give you brief explanation how it works so they will have two switches one for the door uh, mechanism here and one for the uh, the door lock the electrical part the motor part so they have two switches They're those those two switches when it's in a closed position you'll tell the BCM hey the door is closed shut as in this mechanism here when it comes to contact when this mechanism comes to contact with this um, um, what do you call it the the little Thing on the door the hook thing um, the the hook the mechanism fall back so I'll just do a little demonstration here so like that you know what I'm saying you can usually just use a screwdriver to push this um, push this closed that's no problem right now 
you can open that. So when this come in contact with the little, um, I forgot the exact name, uh, forgive me for that, the little hook in the, in the door, this will be closed, the mechanic, the mechanism here, right? Now also the electrical part in there, they will also have a switch, little micro switch. Whenever you lock the door and the lever moves to the closed position, right, to the lock position, that also sends a signal to the BCM on this car, right? Now, you can do a little bit of testing right here. So it sort of works on a 0 to 12 volt uh, signal. So uh, one, one is 0 as in closed position, one will be 12 volt as in closed position. So there's two switches. I forgot exactly which one is 0 volt signal, which one's a 12 volt signal. You can do that, all that bypass by directional testing right here if you have to identify if there's an issue, you change the lock, nothing, it didn't fix it, you can always check your wiring integrity to the computer right here, right? Uh, so you could have a broken wire somewhere between here to the BCM, that is very possible on that uh, sensor signal, right? So anything is possible on electrical. So basically, if you have a symptom like that, if you close the door and it opens immediately like this, immediately like this, that means one of the door is not locked, whether the door mechanism or the electrical part, uh, the locking part is not um, locking, okay? Now, the problem with this car was it was locking, but it wasn't unlocking immediately like that. It was taking like five to 10 seconds, sort of sometimes 30 seconds to unlock it. So the problem with this car is the BCM. So, the BCM sits right under the radio. Um, so BCM sits right underneath the radio right here. So you gotta take the whole thing off and you can just replace that. No problem, right? So you gotta find the right color. They have different series, different uh, version of this BCM or Ford calls it a BEM, uh, but it is basically the BCM. It has the older functionality of the BCM, right? So they come in a different color, gray, blue, green, all that. So you gotta find out exactly what colors you got uh, or you can go by the number here uh, on the uh, BCM, right? So a couple of plugs here, it's a little bit Difficult to get to the plugs, but you can get it done if you got a little bit of mechanical knowledge. Uh, put it in, uh, and you need to program the immobilizer after you put it in. Very simple to do it if you got a half a decent uh, scan tool. Doesn't need to be a very fancy one, but something like eight hundred, twelve hundred dollar sort of um, sort of mid-range scan tool can do programming of the immobilizer on this no problem whatsoever now you do need two keys on some of the models like ba bf i think uh, au should be fine with one key but ba bf i think you need two keys to program this with if you only got one key you can still program the bcm but you're going to have one fault code in the bem bcm all the time it's something like uh, minimum key requirement or immobilizer uh, transponder requirement is not met. Something like that fault code will be in the BEM if you only program one key at all the time. You can't erase that fault code until you program that second key, okay? But the, whole, the system will work, the BCM will work the way it should, the car will drive, car will start, there will be no warning lights on the dash. Everything will behave the way it should but you do gonna have a fault code in the BE, BCM at all time if you go into the BCM with a scan tool um, but if you've got two keys the, the, there will be no fault code okay that's pretty simple there guys um, I hope this helped you a little bit if someone's looking for that answer now uh, everyone who is interested in electricals automotive uh, you know diagnosis and all that uh, please go check out my website. The link is in the description down below. Uh, I'll catch you next time with the new interesting videos. Have a good day.